All right, what's up you guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about the best squat rack for a small space, whether that be in your garage gym, a small room in your home, or just a home gym, just somewhere small, right? And we're gonna talk about five options that you can choose. They all come from Rogue Fitness. And if you want a complete like comparison table of all the racks, that we talk about in this video there will be a link to one down below it's the article that shows you all the different racks mentioned in this video so with all that being said let's get started with the best squat rack for your small space all right so there are five options for the best squat rack for a small space and there are five different scenarios okay so there's one for the best budget option there's one for the best overall option that isn't necessarily wall mounted. There's one for those who have a budget, but also want something that's on the wall, right? A wall mountable rack that has attachment options. There's one that wants a little higher priced wall mounted rack with attachments also. And then there's just the best of all the above. If money isn't that much of an issue, it's not that this one is very expensive. It just has everything that you would want. And we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so the best squat rack budget edition for a small space is the Rogue SML1 70 inch variant. So this is the one that I have and have had for three years. And I made a video, I made three videos actually on reviewing it, frequently asked questions about it, and also why I'm replacing it with the RM3, which is a, a rack that is mentioned in this video, which we'll talk about in a second. But let's quickly go over the pros and cons of this squat rack okay so the pros for a small space this thing has a small footprint okay it's only 49 by 48 inches it is built like a tank it's held up for over three years i talk about that in my most recent video and this thing is just if i was going to keep it it would hold up for the next five years okay another pro is that it doesn't need to be bolted to the ground now you can bolt it to the ground if you want to rogue sells these little like brackets that you can put to, if you want to bolt it to the ground. You don't need to, however, for me, it does move a little bit when I re-rack heavy weights on the squat, for example. But other than that, it doesn't really move that much. It's really sturdy, it's really heavy duty, so no need to bolt it to the ground. Another pro is that it has west side hole spacing. Now, a lot of these racks that are mentioned in this video do have west side hole spacing. And what that means is that towards the bottom, towards the bench press, like where you would put the J cups for bench press and stuff, the spacing is a lot more or smaller. There's only one inch separation between the holes and this is for optimal placement for bench press or other things that are lower on the rack, okay? And so the Rogue SML1 does have west side hole spacing as well as other ones. So when I mentioned that in the other parts of the video, you know what that means. Another pro is that this is the budget option, right? It's not for people who want all the bells and whistles. If they just want a squat rack, water arms so they can do deadlifts, bench press, and overhead press and squats, if that's all they want, this is what you need. You don't need anything else. This is the best budget option. Now, with all that being said, let's talk about the cons of the Rogue SML1, okay? So one con, this may not matter to you, but one con is that it only comes in black. If you like customization and stuff, you have a certain gym aesthetic, you can't change the color for this one. Another con that's pretty big is that there are no attachments available for this other than the spotter arms that you can buy. That means there's no pull-up bar, no band pegs, no dip bar, no plate storage posts, nothing that you can add to this. That is why I said it's not for people who want to add everything, want all the bells and whistles, right? It does not allow for a lot of attachments, just the spotter arms. So if you're looking for something that you want to future-proof yourself with, this may not be the rack for you. However, if you're not looking for any of that, this is perfect for you. All right, and so the price for this squat rack is $365 just for the uprights. If you want the spotter arms, it's about $162.75, which pretty much total before shipping and taxes is $527. So that's the Rogue SML1. Let's go ahead and talk about the next option. All right, so this next option is the best overall squat rack for a small space, but that is not wall mountable, okay? So that is the Rogue RM3 or the Rogue Monster 3 rack. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this rack, okay? This is the one I ordered, the one that's on its way, and the one that's going to be replacing the SML1 in my garage gym, and we'll talk about why in a second. So the pros and the reason why I'm switching from the SML1 to this rack, okay? The pros is that it has a smaller footprint actually than the Rogue SML1, whereas the Rogue SML1 is 49 by 48, I believe. This one is 36 by 49, so technically it is smaller in footprint in width from the wall, in length from the wall. It is 
smaller. So it will take up less space. It'll just take up more space vertically as opposed to horizontally. Another pro is that this comes with spotter arms and a pull-up bar included. So no need to buy those separately. Whereas with the SML1, didn't even come with it. This one does come with it. Another pro, which is pretty big, is that it is compatible with all of the monster attachments that Rogue has to offer, which there are an endless amount of monster attachments. You have different types of pull-up bars available. You have dip bars, band pegs, lat pull-downs, hangers, plate storage pins, landmine attachments. Basically, you're future-proofing yourself with this rack. You get all the monster attachments available to you. Once you have a Rogue monster rack, any of the monster racks, you get all those attachments there for you. If in the future, you do want to upgrade to something like that, you may not want to buy it all right now because it is pretty expensive. If you do want to in the future, you can keep adding on accessories here and there. Now, the cons of this, however, are that you may need to buy mini feet if you are not planning to bolt it to the ground, okay? If you're in a garage gym or you're renting somewhere, you may not be able to drill into concrete, right? And so these mini feet that Rogue created are compatible with the RM3, so it's a little more sturdy and you don't have to bolt it to the ground necessarily. So you may have to buy this, which is an extra $100. And so the next two cons is one, that it does not have any west side hole spacing towards the bottom. So like for bench press and stuff, it's just all evenly spaced. And two, it is expensive, which we'll talk about in a second. That's pretty much it for the cons of the Rogue RM3. And so the price, it starts at $1,145 before shipping and taxes. And depending on what attachments you get at the time of checkout, it can go all the way up to like $2,000 or something like that. So just know that it is expensive and more expensive than the best budget option, which is the one we just talked about. All right, so this next option is the best squat rack for those who want a budget yet wall mountable and foldable rack from Rogue Fitness, and it's called the Rogue RML 3W Foldback Wall Mount Rack. That's a mouthful. It's essentially a RML 3 rack from Rogue, just wall mountable and foldable. So if you have a single car garage and you want to be able to park in there while still having your gym equipment in there, this is one of the options that you want. It is a budget version, so let's talk about it. All right, so the pros. The obvious one is that it's obviously saves space. You can fold it against the wall whenever you need to, so you can save space. Depending on your budget, and your preferences, there is a rack depth option. So 21 and a half inches to 41 and a half inches, depending on how much room you have, you can choose which rack depth, how far it comes off the wall, depending on your space and your budget, you can choose that. This also does have west side hole spacing for the rack itself. So there's that as well. Another pro is that it does have monster light accessories that are compatible with it. Now Rogue does say that most of the monster light accessories do work on it. So just maybe double check with them before purchasing um, just to make sure they all work. Now remember, that monster light accessories and monster accessories are different okay so if you have a monster rack don't go and buy monster light accessories make sure you're buying the right compatible accessories for your rack so again this one is a monster light rack so that means monster light accessories are available for that another pro about all of rogues wall mountable racks is that if you need everything on the wall you have a small really small space for your garage gym equipment rogue does sell like wall mountable other accessories right so you have like this rogue monster thing that you can plate storage posts you can put a number of things that rogue has to offer on those wall mountable options you have the hangers you have the matador hanger the bench hanger so there's a number of options that you can do with rogues wall mountable accessories so if you're looking for something that you want your whole gym on the wall rogue has options there for you now let's talk about the cons so the cons is that the spotter arms you can buy them however rogue does say that you need to hire a contractor to make sure your wall can take the stress of like something let's say you drop something on the spotter arms you need to make sure your wall is strong enough catch that weight and that's why they recommend hiring a contractor so any of the wall mountable racks that we talk about are going to have that issue so that one it comes with spotter arms but we'll talk about that in a second so just know that that you will need to hire a contractor to make sure you can buy the spotter arms so that's what rogue recommends that is one con. Another kind of con, or maybe it's a pro, you can customize this so you can have different colors for this rack. However, Rogue is happy to sell that for you to you for $100 extra if you want it. So you can, yes, you can get custom color if you want. So the price of this thing, it starts at $495 all the way to 
25 depending on the depth that you choose and if you get that custom color so that's the price all right so this next option is if you're not necessarily too tied down by budget and you have a little bit extra to spend this is the rogue rm3 fold back wall mount rack so essentially it's the same thing but it's the monster version so you have a lot more um, attachments a lot more heavy duty attachments for the rack itself now uh, as opposed to the monster light version racks that rogue has to offer the monster racks has the keyholes or the holes on all four sides of the uprights which means you have a lot more room for accessories monster accessories to be exact that is one pro to know and another pro is that you do have different options for j cups so you have the bigger j cups that you can spend more money on if you want to if you don't want just the standard j cups there are other options at checkout that you can choose from however the con of this as with the monster light wall mounted rack is that you do need to hire a contractor if you want to buy the spotter arms again that's what rogue recommends so just know that about these two racks again there's the monster light version and the monster version okay and the other con and the last one is that you cannot customize the color for whatever reason on these guys the rm3 wall mounted rack does not allow for color customization for whatever reason i'm not sure just that's just one thing to think about and so the price for this guy is 760 dollars all the way to 955 dollars depending on the depth of the rack that you choose and the j cups that you choose as well all right and so now the fifth and best option in my opinion the one that i would buy if money was no option if i needed a wall mountable rack that was retractable this is the one that i would buy okay and it's called the rogue rml3 full w power rack okay and so let's talk about the pros and cons. So the obvious one is that it's retractable and it's wall mountable, okay? So it can retract fully. So if you need to park somewhere in your garage, it's there, you can save space with that. That's the obvious one, right? But the other best one, in my opinion, is that it is a full power rack. You have four uprights and you have the uh, safety straps included, okay? So that is a big pro, in my opinion. You don't need to buy extra spotter arms. These come included. And unlike the other ones, you don't need to hire a contractor or anything. These ones come included. It's really, really nice. And so the next pro is that it does have west side hole spacing. So that has the one inch spacing holes towards the bottom of the rack. So if you bench press and want that precise location to put the spotter arms or the J cups, it's there for you as well. And also, since it's a monster light rack, you have all the monster light attachments there for you readily available from Rogue Fitness. If you want to in the future, add those attachments, they're there for you as well. Now the cons is that one, it's, it's not a monster rack, it's a monster light rack. So there's that. It does not have the attachments or the holes for the other attachments on the sides, it's only on the front and back, not on the other sides of the uprights. So there's that. And two, it's the most expensive on this list, okay? So it starts at, uh, and so the price is $1,325 plus shipping and taxes. So there's that as well. And so yeah, those are the five best squat racks in my opinion from Rogue Fitness for a small space. So whether you have a small space in a room or a garage gym or somewhere that you want to have gym equipment, those are the five options. We have the best budget option, the best overall that's not wall mountable. We have the budget wall mountable version. We have the uh, mid range uh, wall mountable version. And then finally, the best one in my opinion, if you don't have a budget or anything, is the full power rack that's wall mountable and retractable. So that's the best one in my opinion. I hope this video helps you guys find the best squat rack for a small space. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments that I'll be happy to answer and I'll see you guys in the next video.